Hey everybody, thanks for watching. A little bit of a different video, uh, different in the sense that it's raining and I don't normally fly in these types of conditions. I'm going to fly VFR during IFR conditions, but I'm doing this as a test because there was a new SIM Update 10 beta released today, just a few hours ago, Dot. 1.27.16.0. The previous version was 1.27.14.0. One second. So we're in the Beechcraft Bonanza, the V-35 Bravo, which was just released a few days ago as well. And we're at KAVL, that's Asheville Regional in Asheville, North Carolina. And as you can see, I'm testing with some heavy rain. And so I know this won't really have effect for scenery, but a lot of heavy clouds could be a big frame killer. And I have my clouds on high currently. Uh, windshield effects on high, buildings on high, trees on high, texture on high, water on high. Um, so quite a bit of my settings up on high, which I could never do with TAA. And so again, I'm really just testing this out. This is my home airport. I'm very familiar with it. And so I know I can fly around here in these types of conditions. But it should be, a, I think, a good test. The reflections on the pavement look really good. The runway pylons, the lights, they're not floating. I can see them for quite a distance. They're not filling in as I get to them. They're actually, I can see quite a few up ahead of me. So that seems to be improved. And now, a couple of, of little stutters I notice here as I'm taxiing, but this is not the default scenery. The scenery for Asheville may not be updated for the Sim Update 10, which I'm testing here. So even the plane may not be up to date for Sim Update 10, but it's a good test. And it's a good area, and I like to fly. So this is where I'm flying to test this. Again, it's a new beta build, 1.27.16.0, released August 19th, 2022. The focus of this build is to improve performance for DX11. This is from their notes. This is from their announcements. A survey is available for those testing performance on DX11. We encourage you to complete it. Uh, sorry, you don't need to know that. <laughs> um, our team is still hard at work regarding memory management on Xbox, which we believe is a contributing factor to some poor stability we are seeing on the platform. Uh, we will provide an update next week as soon as we know more. Also working with NVIDIA on driver-related issues affecting DX12 memory optimizations. So that's the announcement that came along with this new beta release, 1.27.16.0. And I must say, you know, just looking out the window here, looking out the side, the scenery is really, I mean, everything is really flowing by my windows very smoothly. Um, I'm, I'm really seeing some very, very nice performance here. The prop looks very good as it's slowing down. It's not looking too much like a simulation. Yeah, it's looking good. And again, with the rain having to be rendered as well as all the clouds, I think that what I'm seeing is pretty good performance, all Nashville things considered. Tower Beachcraft, November 9 or 
our clearance and so we're good to go and yeah I mean windshield effect looks a little weird on the side but you know what considering what has to go into this and what this is compared to what flight simming used to be like I, I don't complain about those little things you know to me this is more than more than acceptable more than perfect enough for me to enjoy my self constantly flying in VR. So I'm happy, very happy with the performance I'm seeing right now. Okay. We got a bit of a wind. We got some slipperiness going on here. We're gonna give it a little bit of aileron to make it feel like the tipping. Definitely a challenge to keep it down the center line here and we get a good takeoff. And of course, this has happened a couple times tonight. I think there's something going on because it's Friday into Saturday. I don't usually get that connection issue, but I don't think we'll see it again. Although I might get out of my cash barrier and may have to just confirm that the Bing graphics is still on. I gotta turn off my lights here, get rid of the cloud clear, and yeah, so we're heading west from Asheville in, in North Carolina, so we're actually passing over the Blue Ridge Mountains here, which you can't really see, but I can kind of see a little bit about of them. Tower Beechcraft, November Niner. Very good performance so far. Again, beta release 1.27.16.0, released August 19. Testing this with an RTX 3070. I have a Alienware Ryzen Edition Series 9 with 32 gigabits of RAM 
and I play with Steam VR using the Oculus Quest 2 headset wirelessly. I have a monster gaming router that my laptop is hardwired directly into, and it has a dedicated 5 gigabit wireless channel which feeds nothing but my Oculus because nothing else is on this particular segment of my network other than my laptop and my Oculus. Nothing else she has that router, so it's dedicated strictly to flying, as is this laptop. Um, the only things I have on this laptop are what I need to fly, which means Microsoft Flight Simulator and my video wave here that I use to edit my videos. And, you know, in the Oculus software. Other than that, I don't have anything installed on my laptop. Strictly for gate for flight simming, and that's it. So, yeah, look at this, everything's looking really pretty here. Very, very pretty. And I'm getting nice performance still. I'm probably going to go for about 20 or 25 minutes, you know, somewhere in that range, because that's to me is a really good flight and a good test. Well, I'm really enjoying the rain and the graphics that I'm seeing and the performance. The scenery really does seem to be flowing by quite smoothly. The clouds seem to be flowing by smoothly. The edges of the clouds seem nicer. And as I'm flying through them, they don't seem pixelated or blocky. They actually seem and feel a bit more cloud-like. So, I don't know if it's just this particular update or all of the beta updates so far together, but I, I think that the performance for a 3070 and the Quest 2 headset wirelessly using Steam VR, I, I, I have no complaints. This is really, really nice. Now, I don't fly the big planes, the very complex planes, and I know those guys really hit some frame rates, and so my computer doesn't handle them that well. It handles planes like this. It handles, you know, the 247, the Boeing 247, or the the uh, the Goose, or, you know, it handles those planes very nicely, as well as a lot of the general aviation. And I don't really fly that much around cities. I have flown through some and around some, but most of my flying tends to be in areas like this. And so the performance that I get on my laptop with my configuration, which is all in the description, is, is quite satisfying for me. And again, once the beta is released permanently, once it's officially released, there will be some videos, I'm sure, following myself and others who have different setups, different equipment. And hopefully we won't have to do a whole lot more experimenting with our settings to get it uh, the smoothest and the best. And then with any luck, NVIDIA will release a nice graphics driver afterwards as well. Which, so, 
should improve everything, I hope, and I just hope everybody else that flies out there can get the performance I get and enjoy it as much as I do. All right, well, we're getting close to where we're going to land here. And so hopefully the graphics will allow us to... Can I open no. I don't know if it's uh, locked because I'm flying. I guess it's not an anti-fog window. I thought maybe it was a storm window. Um, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm not sure. But we should be seeing the beacon soon for the strip we're going to land at here. So, and, um, we, oh, speaking of the devil, there it is. Okay. So now I'm not, I'm new to this airport, so I'm going to kind of fly around it a little bit just to see where the actual strip is. Whoa. So. Should be here someplace. I'm not seeing much of a space in the trees here for a landing strip, though. Yeah. The helicopter strip? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. What the heck? Is that it? No, no, that looks like a highway. Yeah, that's a highway. That's not it. Hold on. Hold on. I got to turn around here. Hey. And of course, it's raining, it's windy, it's hard to stay in the air. You know, I gotta tell you, when I first started flying, I never would have been able to do this with a low wing. It would have gone down pretty quickly. The high wing is a different story. I guess all these hours behind the yoke. Yeah, what the heck, per? All right, that's kind of, you know what, this must have been like an old position, and so maybe it's on the other side of the highway over here. That's like really weird. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it there. I'll be down, what? Wow, it's actually on the other side of the highway. Yeah, all right. No, well, I'm not good. that'd be too short of a final, so we're not gonna turn, yeah. Let's see, very 
careful here. All right, well, I'm going to pay attention here because this isn't the best conditions for flying, but uh, I'll keep you up to date on the latest and greatest coming down from Microsoft. Again, Sim Update 10 Beta, newest release, 1.27.16.0. And so far, performance seems to be quite smooth. Very good update as far as I'm concerned. And uh, we'll keep you up to date. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the skies.